Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are reacting to the Occult Lullaby EP by Muerte. I love this EP. Uh, as you can tell, I'm recording this after the fact uh, because I streamed uh, reacting to this and a bunch of other things here on this channel. So if you want to come in for streams, live things, uh, if you want to see me react to some things, make sure to subscribe down below so that you'll get notified when I go live. And if it works out for you, you can also join the Discord. Uh, as that's a great place to get notified about things. I've been a fan of Muerte for about a year and a half. I absolutely love his music. Uh, and just recently I learned what the name means. It means death uh, in Spanish, which is pretty cool. Uh, but this EP absolutely blew me out of the water. So let's go take a look at my reaction. Ugh, those keys. Those strings. Oh, and that pitch bend there. Ugh, phenomenal piece of work, good. I'm, I, I love his sound design, although sometimes he's a hit and miss for me. Like, it, I, it's good, but sometimes I just can't connect with it because of how it's so unique it is. So I hope I can connect with all this. Intro moment, intro moment. I love that. That was sick. We're going to go right into Body of Bones. Take me to the oh, there's lyrics. Yeah, I felt that. <laughs> This is good. I don't know about the lyrics yet. I think the the vocals of it were fine. I just don't know if what it says is, I don't know. I gotta look into it. Might be a little too slow for me. It's a good song and he definitely, his sound design is great. The mixing's good on it. That harmonizing is really good. That's a take I haven't heard from this song. Yeah, it feels a little too slow paced, but it's, I mean, I'm not saying that it's bad because of that. It's still good. That's way better. I can get with that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's, oh my, mm. And I was ready for it too. Whereas the first chorus was like, it came in. Yeah, I wasn't ready for the first chorus. Yeah, I I think that's gonna take more listens for me to really get into. Um, but I like it, and I I think this is the latter half of the song I think is the best. Okay, Skull Garden violin mix. Yeah, his, his um, acoustics in the or orchest orchestration is on point. Another one with lyrics. Although it's nothing, it's one verse. Free drop sound. I was, ah, I was drinking. Oh, that pluck, the plucky thing. Oh, dude. The acoustic guitar, if, if I think that's what it is, I'd have to hear it again to know. But, dude, this is th this I, this is already beating the the other one, Body of Bones. The vocal fit the vibe of the song. Yes, yeah, it did. We're already back into it. What? Oh. Wait, no. Hmm. I How do you do that? That that grime thing that with his bass breathing sound design in, in this chorus at least unbelievable. Uh, wow, dude, I save.
his his bassy breathing sound design at that last chorus i think the last chorus was better than the first but the first was still good um yeah unbelievable goodbye vibin thanks for being here um blood tide is oddly soothing i'm yeah i'm looking forward to that one one of the best eps of this year just wait for blood tide <laughs> okay so we have two people saying that the next song is is insane so uh, makes me want to make music like that i dude i would love to hear you make some music like that that would be sick. Um, how long does it take to get chat up? Hello, hi, streaming tools, overlays. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Maybe later. Can I can I get through this in like thirty seconds? Is that possible? Um, it's pretty good as well. Okay. Here we go. Um, I know it's probably going to be a bit off. Dang. One of the most unique sounding songs. 100%. That's good. Um, he has a lot of unique... Like, Okay, can we talk about uh, Gift of Dying EP and Near Death Experience EP? Where... I saved that the latter fully and uh, patron saint and black belly um, on the first one is one of my favorites for sure. So this this is living up to that, honestly. So, OK, let's go blood type. Wait, what? I'm looking at this waveform on screen. It's all low end. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm like still thinking about that sound, just the base of it, right? Because that's all. It, that's what it was, and there was no melody because the melody was in the bass. So, not for everyone, but it's really good from a um, producer perspective. Yes. Yeah. No, the mix is insane. I wish it was more punchy. That's the one thing. If it was more punchy, I think it'd be more impactful. Because right now, they're, all the punch is in the low end, but there's so much low end that it doesn't come out. Yeah, see, this is a bit better. I, I would still even say more. Flow is really good on this, though. Never heard anything like I haven't either. Can't really make something punchy without high end. Yeah, I don't think it's bad. Because, you know, I can't do any of this. I don't make music for those that don't know. Um, it's definitely not bad, but you're right there. It's hard to get a punch out of a low end. And especially when you have the melody in the low end, like you're trying to put the snare and the bass in the same frequency range. Um, and it's not, therefore the snare is just not there. Doesn't sound like, um, except for the switch or the second part of the chorus where the, the snare does come in. That's a bit better. I still don't know if I'm fully in on that one though. Okay. Soap mummies. This was me in middle school. I think I'd be so cool on the piano, even though I couldn't play, and I'd just be like, note, and it'd be like, aw, oh, like low note. Like, I think it was a D. You are matched. Say hello. Oh my gosh! This is my favorite. This is the Morte I like. How do you go from a piano to this? On the yeah, that's the best one. I, we still have another chorus. I forgot. I thought the song was over. The atmosphere that he's creating with this is one of the best. What is that sound? What was the sound on the upbeat? I don't know either. I don't. I, I don't know how anyone makes music like this. And it looks so confusing when I look at like FL Studio or something. What? There, there's a melody involved. There's an idea that was really anchored on, but it was it was still expansive. I'm gonna slap someone to this. <laughs> Get one of those like gifts that match the um the beat. Let's move on. Dream changer. 
Dream Chamber. Great vocals so far. Um, another great keys. Dream Changer is my personal favorite. Super unique. Sweet. I'm I'm loving this so far. Wait, wait. I wasn't ready. I'm just, I'm just gonna listen to this. I'm not, cause it's all over the place. It has like an airiness and a coloriness to it, but it's still Muerte sound. What is that? Drums here are fantastic. Yeah, this is insane. Super Saws mixed in with Muerte is insane. I, Moon, Moon, you were right. I think Soap Mummies is really good, but this one is is also insane. I, like, I, there, you can't even compare the two. The plucks are insane, and it still sounds like Muerte, even though they have a sort of colorness to them. What in the world, dude? And the stuttering throughout the whole entire track is unmatched. It's got me schmoovin'. <laughs> it did to me, too. That flow is really interesting, too. Like, I couldn't figure it out. Um, yeah, what in the world? This one and Soap Mummies are the best so far, and... There, I, I can't even put one over the other because you can't compare them. Um, the colorness to this, yet it still sounds Muerte sound. Color base Muerte would ever exist. I, I didn't think so either, honestly. But we're here, and that was phenomenal. Honestly, I want like a whole EP like that. That'd be super cool. Although he was on um, Enchanted Volume 1 with, I think, Sleep Puppets. I didn't really like that one. I was also very naive with dubstep back then. So I could like it now, but uh, all right. So this is living to die alone. Yeah, I love. I like the vocals on. All the vocals throughout this whole entire album is phenomenal. At least they're they're produced well. Oh, that minor. This might be a one drop song. Now I'm looking at it. Oh. Switch. was cool the swipe yeah that's that's what I'm looking for that yeah I feel like uh, it somewhat didn't go anywhere somewhat um, probably just it was a three-minute song and also it felt too simplistic for him he he has already pronounced himself as a really good producer and overall i think this project was really good and fantastic i definitely soap mummies and dream Cham chamber are my favorite solid honestly really solid thank you so much for watching the entirety of this video it really does mean a lot and it helps me out a ton if you enjoyed this video make sure to like the video down below and subscribe as it helps me out a lot and if you want join the discord which will be in the description thank you and i'll see you in the next one